Hello and welcome to Learning Science. In this video, I will talk about auto calculation in Power BI using a Power Query. Here, auto calculation means no DAX code required for the calculation. Power Query will do calculation for you. Let's jump to the computer for the dim. So let me load my data table first. So Excel workbook and employee data. So I will select this table and I will go to transformation. So Power Query Editor. So this is my employee data. So here if you notice here. Date of birth column. Implied date of birth column. So what I want basically, I want to calculate the age of each employee. So date of birth. So we know that the calculation is today days minus date of birth. So for that we have to write a DAX calculation, but here in Power Query we are not going to write anything. The Power Query do, do all calculation for us. So first what I will do, I will select this column and I will go to add column. Here add column. Now my date of birth column is already selected. So now I will go to date. And here I will click on age. So you notice here the age column is added, but this is in days. The age of employees in days. So I don't want in days, I want into a year. So I will click here and I will go to transformation. And from transformation, I will click on duration. And in duration, I will select total year. So now you can see the age days converted into a year. But here you will notice the 36.55. If I will do a round off, so it will be 37. OK, so I don't want to do. I will do only 36 or 31, whatever the decimal places. As of now, I will ignore it. So let me select this one and you have to go to rounding. And in rounding, say round down. Once you will say round down, you can see the 36, 31. It was earlier 30. 6.55. So if I'll round up, it should be a 37, but we are ignoring the decimal places and we are taking only whole number. So it is now 36. So now let me go home. And I will say. So now my age is. Calculated for each employee. So now let me apply and close. And here I will say apply. So I will add a table here. And I will increase the size. And from my employee data table, I will use a title as an employee name and my age, employee age column field. So you can see here. The. Max is a 66 and then let me add a one more column table. Sorry. And here I will say. Department. Where is department? Department voice. Age average age. So I, here I will say average. So you can see the department wise average. That's all for this video. I request you to please subscribe my channel for amazing video. Thank you for watching.